What's the biological legacy of slavery in the US? During my filming for Human Footprint, I explored this topic that hit pretty close to home. One way researchers are tackling this question is through the stories written in our DNA. Here's how. We see that most people living in the Americas have genetic connections to West Central Africa. Uh -huh. So that's pretty intuitive. More people were being taken from West Central Africa, more people in the Americas today have genetic connections to that region. But the genetic data also show that the transatlantic slave trade was only part of the story. Importing enslaved people from Africa was outlawed in 1808, but slavery continued, supported by a domestic slave trade, through which more than a million enslaved people were forced to migrate from the Upper South, states like Virginia and Maryland, to the Deep South, where cotton was booming. And that left a signature in the DNA too. 